Hello everyone in this video, let us learn how to monitor the progress of your plan in both improved and the live plan in portfolio for Jira. So today let us talk about how to monitor the progress and in the previous video we spent some time understanding how to uh, create uh, and how to use the hierarchy levels in portfolio for Jira. In this video we are going to discuss uh, how to monitor the progress in the improved interface and at the same time we will also learn how to monitor the progress in the live plan. Now when you are working with the live plan you have a uh, few more options. You can uh, use uh, uh, a scope view to monitor the progress or you can use the release view or you can uh, take a look at uh, different uh, reports that uh, you have. Uh, I mean not all of them can show you the progress but some of them can actually show you how to monitor the uh, progress and uh, there are some reports that will uh, definitely help you. So let me first uh, talk about uh, the improved interface. Now when you're looking at your in improved interface uh, of course uh, you, you do have uh, some capabilities. Of course, uh, you have your uh, roadmap and you can uh, uh, take a look at your roadmap, but you want to know whether you are on track or not. And uh, maybe you want to know if you, let us say, have uh, five stories under your epic, how many of them are finished, how many of them are uh, still not finished. Now, you have two fields basically when you are uh, looking at the improved interface, you have progress uh, based on story points and you also have progress based on issue count. Now what I have done in my improved plan, I have of course used my uh, initiative, I have then uh, my epics under initiative and then I have stories under my initiative and I also have my uh, subtask. Now when you're looking at your your plan, uh, if you let us uh, click on your uh, your stories, let us start with stories and we'll take a look at both the story points and issue count. So if you hover your mouse or if you let us say uh, just uh, click on these uh, progress bars. So for story points at the story level uh, you will get uh, completed and you will get remaining and you will get total and uh, you will uh, also see this uh, information about estimated issues and unestimated issues. So this is something that you can uh, do quite easily when you are working with uh, the story points. But of course your uh, your progress which is based on issue count is something quite simple. How many issues you have under this particular level. Now if you probably go a bit up at the epic level you have the same information where you have of course uh, summation of all the story points that you have in this epic and of course you have the information about the completed and remaining. Uh, you have a similar information for the issue count and uh, when you go to the initiative level it is again simply doing uh, rolling up of your total story points that are there in your uh, uh, initiative like right now we have 11 but 5 are completed, 6 are remaining and you have some per percentage information that is always uh, useful. For uh, the uh, for the issue count you basically have the information about uh, not all of the issues under the initiative but how many uh, epics are there. So right now we just have one epic. When you look at the epic you um, have two issues under your uh, under your uh, uh, under your epic. So this issue count will tell you the number of issues under it. So this is slightly different as I mean the way it works. The um, the story point progress will uh, simply um, show you the story points of all the issues under that particular level. So if you're looking at uh, let us say your epic you are of course seeing uh, 11 here which is of course the right number but uh, if you add maybe one more uh, story it will probably uh, display maybe 15 or 16 or 20 and the initiative will also do 
and it will actually do a summation of everything under the initiative. For issue count, it is just the children of uh, that particular initiative. So you can use both uh, depending upon uh, that, you know, whatever works best for you. So this is pretty much it when you are taking a look at uh, the improved interface. There is also one more thing that I wanted to show you and that is actually the uh, uh, grouping based on a sprint. So right now we are not really using any group by. If we select sprint here, uh, so you can see here on the left hand side, the plan is now grouped by your epics. Now you may want to dis display, of course, uh, similar information. You can, of course, take a look at the progress uh, by story points and progress by issue count. But uh, there is also one more interesting thing and that is uh, uh, showing the capacity on the timeline, which will give you this small indication about uh, um, the capacity. We'll, we'll probably come back to it again when we talk about uh, capacity management in uh, improved interface and in the old plan. But you have, of course, some information about you know, how you're doing and uh, how much uh, work is estimated. And uh, you have some information about uh, the percentages, which is always good. And you can al always take a look at uh, five out of 11 points done. 11 out of uh, 30 points uh, velocity. So this is something uh, also really useful. Let us take a look at the life plan and the life plan is of course, uh, uh, is able to show you a bit more information. So first of all, let us start with the scope view. When you're looking at your scope view, you uh, can uh, take a look at this uh, field here called uh, progress. And right now we are looking at story level, but let me start with the initiative first. And uh, when you select initiative, which is my top level in, top level uh, in the hierarchy, you have of course this progress. And if you click on it, you can uh, see the information about all the all the story points that uh, you have under this initiative. And of course, right now the progress is fifty five percent, ten out of uh, twenty two points in total. You can also then go to the epic level. You have, of course, similar information. And uh, when you go to the story level, you have, of course, uh, again, the same kind of information. But the important thing that you need to worry about here is that uh, it will uh, again do a rolling up of uh, the issues that you have at uh, uh, any level, basically. So if you're looking at initiative, it will this progress will show you the progress of everything at that particular level. So this is this is one one possibility. The other possibility is looking at the releases. So when you look at the releases, you have for each and every release, if those releases are of course uh, there in your plan with some with some estimation, with some stories or maybe any issues that you have planned, you will also take a look. You, you will be able to monitor the progress. So for example, for my Feb release common, I can see here this uh, progress bar that is actually quite useful. I mean, it is of course nice way to, of course you have the details when you're looking at the scope, but I think this is also quite uh, unique. If I go to the edit, I have the same uh, progress uh, bar here on the uh, right hand side. So this is something that you can also do from the, uh, from the release tab of your life plan. Uh, let us take a look at the reports uh, that also talks about uh, the progress. Uh, so we have different ways of uh, taking a look at uh, and monitoring the progress. So let us start with the first report. We have releases. So we have of course the same uh, information. So this is not really anything uh, different from what we just saw. Let us move to scope. Scope is again uh, same as uh, the scope tab. And one more thing, I think when you're looking at the scope tab here, or the, you know, the very first uh, uh, section in your portfolio life plan, you can actually just get rid of the visual plan and uh, you just have the scope here. So there's no timeline, but you have the option to take a look at the timeline. So you can actually work uh, on the view that makes more sense to you and for your team. So if you go back to the uh, reports, uh, let us take a look at the schedule. So schedule is of course uh, talking about uh, the schedule and it is nothing but a, a timeline at different levels. 
uh, but uh, we want to of course look at uh, the progress so let us move down to capacity capacity will probably come back to it there is no progress here of course when you click on these uh, individual uh, <clears throat> boxes or these individual uh, uh, rectangles you can take a look at uh, the utilization but uh, this is something that we have to probably uh, i mean we'll, we'll probably come back here to spend uh, more time on doing capacity management so let us take a look at the dependencies do we have anything about the progress no we don't have any progress here if you take a look at the sprints you will be able to, able to take a look at all the sprints that you have in your plan but there is no progress here uh, let us take a look at the target schedule uh, which will probably spend uh, time on because I want to I want to cover this uh, target schedule I mean I, I want to explain how to use this information and we also have themes so we are not really using themes yet we will be using themes so if you look at the release report if you look at the scope if you look at the schedule no so I think release and scope along with uh, maybe sprints no so I think release and scope are uh, all I mean you can anyways take a look at these uh, these sections that you have where you can ob obviously monitor the uh, progress using the progress field so this is something really in you know important and useful uh, and uh, of course when you're working on the plan you want to monitor the progress of course portfolio helps helps you in uh, forecasting and uh, it will give you some idea about uh, how well you are doing by of course looking at these uh, reports so in the next video we will uh, talk about uh, uh, the portfolio program view that is uh, actually really useful when you have to monitor and when you have to basically combine different plans and you want to track the progress from a single view called program view.